Hello, honey bunnies. Welcome back. It's me, Jenny. How is everyone doing today? Okay, my beautiful crafty friends, we're going to be making this really fun, um, easy Christmas sign that I created. I love how this Christmas sign turned out. It's such a beautiful sign. It kind of gives it like a 3D effect, which was what I was looking for. And um, I love these deers. I got this deer um, last year at Dollar General. It's a really pretty ornament. And so I kind of wanted to display the deer somehow. And um, I came up with this. And so I want to show you guys how to create it. It's super easy to create. So I'm just going to, um, as I you know, create the sign with you. I'll just let you know what you guys need um, as far as supplies. And I would always link at the bottom of the video the supply list of what it is that you need for this project. Keep in mind, we can always switch it around and change it around so we don't have to use these specific um, supplies to create this awesome Christmas sign, okay? So, the very first thing that I did to create the sign is the back of the sign. So what I use for the back part of the design is these um, artist canvas that I get at the Dollar Tree. These are really um, super affordable. They're actually a dollar and you get two in here. So this is perfect. I am making um, another sign because I have I wanted to make a pair. And so this will be perfect. One dollar will get you two of these awesome artist canvas. The size is five by seven. And so that's what we're going to use for the background. So let's create the background first and then slowly we'll talk about the rest of the stuff that we need to use. So here I have my background that I already um, opened it from the original package because I made one here already. And what I did here is I am obsessed with music notes, obviously. The last video that we did, we created these really fun, adorable little um, ornaments out of music note um, sheets back here. And I love them. So I'm still using them. So what I did was I cut out a piece of the news music notes, which looks like this. It's just some... Um, it's just like, you know, um, the notes of like some songs. And I just randomly picked a song. I cut out a piece of paper that will fit my little um, canvas. That's all I did. All right. So let's do that first. And I, how I glue it down is I just basically put double-sided tape on it, which I have here. That's literally all I did. Now, keep in mind, you can obviously use any other paper that you have handy. You can also use fabric if you want. You can use craft paper, you can use Christmas paper, you can use um, tissue paper, you can really use anything that you want, okay? And if you don't want to use paper for some reason, you can always use paint or ink your canvas. So there are many, many, many ways of doing this project, which is why I love to make projects like this because we can always um, change it up a little. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue down this paper to my canvas. And the reason why I use double-sided tape is because it's much more easier for me to kind of glue it down, I find. And if I use glue, it's going to be too bulky. So I figured that double-sided tape would probably work okay for this project. You can probably also use like some kind of wet glue like this if you want. Um, it's really up to you. So I'm going to glue this down to my canvas as straight as possible. And that just gives my canvas such a really simple but pretty look. On the back, I want to glue 
the string that's going to hang my sign. So I'm using this twine to do that. I already cut out a little um, piece right here. And we're just going to hang this from one end to the other end. And we're going to use hot glue for that. So my frame is going to go this way. So I'm going to hang my strings from this end. So I'm just gonna add a little glob of hot glue on one end. And I'm going to add my string. You can always use lace if you want, or you can always use fabric or yarn. Um, you can use whatever you want. And then I'm going to hot glue the other end. And I'm going to hang the other end to this side. And that is going to create my little string that's going to allow me to hang my sign from the wall. See? Just like that. Very nice. All right, perfect. So now we're gonna get into the really fun stuff the front of the canvas. All right, so I'm using here a same idea, another canvas that I also got at the Dollar Tree, but this one doesn't come in doubles, it comes single. And this is the size, um, it is uh, four by six, all right? And this is the, the paper, If this is like the, the front of like the advertisement if you need it. It's a stretchy canvas. It's four by six. And um, what I like about this particular one is because this one is a little bit more, as you can see, thicker than this one. So normally you would use this side to um, create some kind of art work. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually use the back side of the canvas because it's giving me a nice little frame where I can add my little deer into the little square. So that's what we're going to be using to display the, 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 the um, this, this right here, to display this awesome little deer, all right? In the inside, what I did, I basically just added some glue. I actually used this glue sporadically inside and then I sprinkled in some fake snow which is this one like this that I also got at the Dollar Tree you can also get glitter if you want and I let it sit for a day so it can dry and then that is going to create that beautiful sparkly background all right that's literally all I did now I also because this um, awesome little uh, stretchy canvas, we're using the wrong side, technically speaking, right? It has obviously the staples that will keep the canvas, the stretchy canvas together. What I did is I covered it up with some awesome moss. Is that what it's called, moss? That I got from Michaels. You can also get this at the Dollar Tree. And all I did was I used my hot glue and I went around it to cover those staples that you see right there. All right? So I'm going to do that with you because I left this little part here so we can do it together. I already filled out this part. All right? All I do is just take a little... And this is going to be a little bit messy, okay? So um, just... Be aware that you probably have a lot of mess on your table when you use um, this material, all right? So what I basically did was I did them in little parts. So I added a little bit of the hot glue and then I went in and I added the little bit of the moss, okay? Basically, that's all I did, as you can see there, all right? We can always go back later to fill in the gap if we need to, all right? So here we go, I'm gonna add a little bit more. 
and you can actually use this with wet glue also ah uh, i don't have that much patience when it comes to drying my projects that's why i like to use a lot hot glue because hot glue is very quick and easy and you don't have to really wait for anything to dry up but if you do have the patience and if you do like the way the wet um glue um maybe you work better with wet glue then you can obviously use that if you want all right so just very sporadically i'm just adding little bits of it every once in a little every little spot that i can i like the green because it kind of gives it like that woodland feel to the um the art and it just gives it like that really like that comfy um cozy feel to um the sign in my mind right all right you see that how i just filled in little by little see now if you want to go back you want to see what spots need to be you know you need to add more you're welcome to i just kind of just like shake it up a little bit just to make sure that there's nothing hanging and then that is how i cover the edges of my beautiful stretchy canvas now you could obviously use ribbon or fabric or you know anything else that you want you don't have to use this greenery i just love the contrast of it and um i was really looking forward to use it so I, I love that okay perfect that's for that for the deer um i again i found this at um dollar general last year and i love i love 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 these deers so you could find any kind of deer any kind of animal any kind of um ornament that you want to add in your canvas it doesn't have to be a deer it could be whatever you want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually add my deer the opposite way so with this one right here i added the deer on this side with this canvas i'm going to add the deer on this side over here and how i glue my deer is very weird i know it's a weird way to do it but that's the only way that i found that worked for me feel um free to you know change this up a little if you want but what i did was i basically added dimensions on the back of my deer and then i had glued the deer to the canvas that's what i did because my deer um i wanted to give it that like 3d effect and um i can't really glue it directly to my canvas because it's not like literally touching the canvas so to make it easy for myself, I just basically added some dimensions back here and I glued I glued them to the deer. I added about four or five of them to make it really bulky and then I glued it directly to my canvas. That's literally all I did, all right? So let's do that now. And again, final way, if you have an easier way to do this, then obviously, you know, go the way that you find it more, more easier for you to do. All right, so I'm going to add about, um, about three or four layers. And that's going to give me a nice little lift. You can also use um, cardboard. That, that also is a good idea if you want cardboard. I think maybe I'll use one more layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue and then I'm going to um, glue it to the canvas. So you see how there's like a big layer there. You see that? It's a pretty thick layer. And that layer, it gives me a lot of more movement and a lot of more room for me to glue my, um, my deer down. Okay. So... I'm gonna ask I'm gonna add a really heavy amount of hot glue and I'm going to do add my deer directly to my canvas and I can actually see from here 
the um the 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 um the double sided adhesive gluing down to the canvas which which is perfect i don't know if you guys can see that from there but i don't know can you see that all right and that's gonna glue there it's gonna hold it's not gonna fall anywhere because um it's glued really well all right and that's basically what i did now what i'm going to do next is on with this one i added a nice little sign that says belief so with this one we're going to add a sign that says let it snow right in this section right here where did i get the sign from dollar tree you guys remember my whole videos from dollar tree i showed you guys all these like wood veneers that i got from the dollar tree and they originally they look like this this is the belief and this is the let it snow i got these from the dollar tree you can also find these at michael's i've seen them and hobby lobby the color of the uh words i colored it in this beautiful gorgeous um paint called earthly rose and it is absolutely gorgeous i am in love with this color in love oh my gosh oh no i broke my sign i'm gonna have to redo this again okay that's all right things happen what are you gonna do anyway i bought um this awesome paint at uh, michael's all right and um i love it it's beautiful it's gorgeous okay so i kind of just the paint fell on top of my sign and it broke so we're just gonna we're gonna work around it okay we're just going to glue this down and work around it because listen things happen and it is what it is right so i'm just going to let me see how i'm gonna do this i'm gonna glue this this part down first all right and hopefully we'll make it work these words are very 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 delicate so you have to be super careful with them all right and then the other part i'm going to try to glue it together so that you guys can more or less see how this works okay i'm not going to really do this i'm going to probably do another one i have plenty there so i can probably paint another one but for the video purposes i want to just kind of show you guys how it would look all right all right so technically this would probably go like this and go like that see so let me hot glue this in a way that you are able to see this This is just giving you an idea but i think it will work okay there we go i'm gonna glue this over here because this has a little bit of a gap right here so i'm gonna glue this down all right there you go and that is more or less what we're going to get all right you see that can't even see that it's, it, it kind of cracked in the middle and then the last thing that i did was i added a really fun little um earring in the front of the deer kind of looks like a little reef i have these awesome vintage earrings that i've been collecting for many 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 years and I'm going to use one of these to add to the front of my beautiful 
gorgeous little deer to give it a pretty look and i love that these two look like really nice together right so i'm going to add some glue to the earrings and then i'm going to place it down right there i'm going to hold it for a few seconds And then that should be good and the last thing we're going to do see how pretty that looks already look how pretty that looks the last thing we're going to do guys is we're going to add some hot glue to the back of this here and we're going to glue this directly to the the um this part over here that's all we're going to do now you got to be very generous with the hot glue because you want to make sure that your frame sticks to this part okay so i'm going to be super generous with the hot glue okay and you got to work fast because the hot glue really grow uh, really dries really quickly you're going to add this to the center of your canvas and you're going to hold that for a few seconds making sure that it glues down and we have just created our second awesome gorgeous sign I love it. I love this sign. And that, my friend, is how we create this sign. Now you can see that you can actually hang this from the wall, just like that. And look how gorgeous that looks. I am so in love with this sign. I love it. Even, even, even like when we, when it kind of like cracked, you can't even see it. You literally can't even see it. On the wall, you more like more likely you won't even see that. I was thinking of doing this over again, but I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is because you really can't even see it. You can't see it. And that's how we create this beautiful sign, guys. I, I absolutely love the sign. I think this turned out so beautiful. It looks so, so gorgeous. And I'm loving it. I'm just loving everything about it. I hope that you guys enjoy watching me make this. Um, I'm going to be hanging it up in a little corner and I will be taking pictures so that you guys can see how it looks. I love you all. Have a fantastic weekend. Make sure you thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys on our next Christmas series video. Bye honeys.